two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Well, yeah, 52% of people said that uh, Robbie Williams had better standalone music than Take That. We'll see if our Indeed. next guests agree with that. It's those vegan guys. One, two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. That might guys. be the best intro. <laughs> <laughs> that before. A very warm welcome, uh, Jason Paul. It's lovely to have you back in the studio. How you been? Uh, great, thanks for having us back. It's good to be here. Indeed. We've had a very busy couple of months, haven't we? It's been hectic. Um, uh, Exit was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've uh, we've uh, made two more videos for our quite epic ones for our YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, one is a guide to um, Tenerife. Yeah. And one is an Easter egg taste test. Oh. So we're hoping to talk to you about both of those today and the and the outcomes of uh, of which. Uh, but the Tenerife one was fab, wasn't it? We found loads of vegan places to eat. Amazing, yeah, and within a, a very, very small geographical area as well, which is quite amazing. We were yeah. shocked and, and overwhelmed and... And fat. <laughs> yeah, and in love with all of the food. But going back to what you were saying about Robbie, the what was it, 52% versus 48%? Yeah, so like who had the better standalone music out of the two? Because we don't oh, you take that. It's a bit like Brexit, what? this, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it is it's take that, yeah. It's, it's the take that had the better music. But I, it didn't. I we, we, we proved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah, but now, can I throw a spanner in the works? Go on. Because didn't weren't a lot of Robbie's hits written by other people and he just Oh don't them. come in here with yeah. your logic <laughs> and your sensible views. Whereas whereas everything take that do is written by Gary Barlow. It is, yeah. Pretty much. Well he, he he's the much better musician, but Robbie's Absolutely. the better showman. I yeah, will say yes. yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, fair. that's fair but talk to me about Tenerife because we missed you guys last month you weren't in the studio how was it? it was it was a very different kind of holiday for us wasn't mm -hmm. it because yeah. uh, we went with my mum who was not very mobile mm -hmm. anymore and we didn't want to drag her out kind of too far sure uh, so we were in a kind of let's say a one mile square you know we moved in, in, in quite a small circle but in that circle we found this incredible uh, burger bar, yeah. um, which is kind of you'd love it, Scott. Mm. I, think more, it, <laughs> I do love anyway, a burger, to be it, fair. It was it it was right in the centre of a square of shops that were all surfer, hippie, mm. vegan, new age. It, it, so you guys fit right in there. Oh, it was perfect. Alternative. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, it's lovely. I mean, um, yeah, we'll hear more about Tenerife right after this one now. It's uh, Sue, Sue, Studio by Phil Collins. That's coming up next. You know what? That was the first song I played after finishing my GCSEs. I was going to say, shouldn't you that, still be in school? I know. <laughs> you are practically a toddler. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> anyway, so we've got those vegan guys in the studios with us. We do. Welcome back, guys. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. So I was just asking off air, like, what is your favourite vegan snack? So you've got like, you know, you said uh, sour and uh, not sour, sweet and savoury. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a really good point, actually. And this this applies, to, I think, to most people because it's like, you know, we all love to snack. Mm. We obviously have to keep our snacking in moderation and all that stuff about healthy eating and all that. But no. <laughs> my favourite savoury snack at the moment, a recent discovery, um, a big share bag at Sainsbury's, um, chilli tortillas. Um, crisps. Oh wow! Really nice, 95p, big sharing bag. So mm. that's my go-to savoury snack. Oh, at the moment. Let, let me tell them about the dip we invented when we were we had the munchies one night. Right. Vegan mayo. Yeah. Vegan chili sauce mm -hmm. and grated vegan cheese. What all blended in? All mixed in together with your tortilla chips. Oh wow! Amazing and adaptable, of course. We had loads of chili sauce in, didn't we? So it was proper hot. Yeah. And then on the sweet side. Um, Really loving um, the Tesco's dark chocolate digestive biscuits, particularly for us out of the fridge. They're yeah. amazing fridge. Oh, they're vegan by accident. Yeah. And also um, after dinner mints. Yeah. But uh, Tesco's own brand and Sainsbury's own brand, both vegan. Yeah. Maybe we should maybe we should make that into a regular feature going forward every month, like uh, an accident, like your favourite accidentally vegan product. Oh, yeah. 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 Because there's loads of fantastic accidentally vegan stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were talking before about all the movement that's being made at the moment. Flora. Yeah. Flora. Flora. Yeah. They've Mass just gone 100 percent vegan. 100 percent plant based. Talk to me about KFC real quick because this for me. 
is a game changer if it's if if it comes out in, and if it, it goes forward. We'll tell you we what, this is blowing my this. mind. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we were talking about this on the way down because we think it's so important for places that are definitely meat based mm. to make that move into veganism to give the guys out there a chance so that the, the yeah KFC are coming out with a vegan fried chicken I- style thingy <laughs> and I know a lot of vegans will mourn and say I would never support such a company and we're like no support them anyone that's making a move towards veganism yeah. you know we, I don't care if it's if it's cash based if they're only doing it for finances the end effect will be animals will live longer mm. and the planet will survive and so yeah. let's go for it but it's good as well because you know if anyone is thinking of crossing over that's that's a really good place to go because you know you still want to have your treats you still want to do your fast oh, food you and, and you're eating out and mcdonald's has got vegan options and do you know what i mean like it, it's good that that kfc are actually starting to ride that wave now it's and all, all the pizza places as well have started to do yeah true uh, papa john's have got vegan cheese now um yes yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I am uh, again. I'm going to say uh, Helen's vegan life on uh, Instagram. By the way, yes, uh, we're good pals. <laughs> uh, uh, I saw the pictures of you having a meal at um, was it Frankie and Benny's? Yes, with the vegan menu. Yeah, this whole new vegan menu that's just like come out of nowhere. Yeah, and again, I was drooling at the pictures, thinking, "Damn you, why am I?" <laughs> <laughs> well, we were back the other day as well um, with a friend of ours, Louise. Yeah, we went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Louise had a not dog, which was like a, a vegan uh, hot yeah, dog. That- that was weird. Nice. Like I just sort of looked at it. I was like, "Wow, this." <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we've uh, we we got to move on just real quick. We got laid by James on the way now. Still music in from Norman Greenbaum. Lovely stuff. <laughs> what was it? it was like super weird you seen like a knock dog i've never even oh but, but it was like it's there with laid absolutely love it it is a great song isn't it so we got song. those vegan guys in the studio we do indeed we do indeed uh, a few questions about tenerife um if we, if we may just go back to that real quick go, go, go. so um i, I want to know best vegan dish that you discovered while you were over there Oh, now... Because uh, there must have been one that, like, absolute standout. It was the Lebanese meze mm. that we had um, in a restaurant called Ilili. Uh, so, what's it, so what's in it? Do you know? Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> uh, yeah, let yeah. me tell you. <laughs> it was um, a beautiful uh, version of hummus, mm. but made with aubergine, with kind of a, a balsamic and... Um, pomegranates on the top beautiful flatbreads yeah an amazing katouche katouche salad which is a bit like um uh what's the other one called Ah, i don't know i just eat (laughs) tabule it's a bit like tabule salad right it's got fried crispy bits of bread on top oh uh falafel of course of course falafel um it's the vegan the vegan store yeah absolutely i I can't even remember what else but on this the most amazing fresh hot chili sauce that we've ever ever had it was incredible wasn't it it was so yeah yeah, the meal there was uh, was awesome but we had incredible stuff and what was great to see is Hmm. in the local supermarket full vegan selection well yeah um we we as, as you guys know we went to berlin uh, a yeah. couple yes. of weeks back and just the amount of selection yeah over there was was insane um we didn't expect anything like it but it was it, almost every shop every place that you went clearly marked vegan products yeah. you know what i mean everything was fresh and and there was no prejudice as well um, yeah. you know like that, that 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 was the main thing that we saw like ev- everyone was very very accepting there was there was a lot of choice a lot of places to go um and and i think at one point like we saw more vegan places than fast food places you wow. know like regular well, we'd eaters never, so. we'd never seen the word vegan hmm. anywhere in player we went to player Las Las Americas, Americas, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. in tenerife we'd never seen the word vegan um and suddenly there's these restaurants with vegetarian and vegan options yeah vegan burgers vegan desserts and you're like whoa for me it was the burger that i had that was the even though it nearly destroyed me the burger that i had oh you was a silly boy (laughs) when somebody gives you a burger the size of your head yeah right and when you're like halfway through it and you're already kind of going (laughs) oh But this is it, you know, Normally, when the food sweats start stop, coming in. Wouldn't you? You, you? But Jason was like, no, I am going to finish this burger. <laughs> I've started it. Yeah. <laughs> it. To be fair, I mean, the, the Burger Cafe, Las Americas, Tenerife, yeah. uh, the 
the biggest and most delightful burger I've ever had in my entire life. But uh, you know what? I know there's a huge amount of competition out there, and like you've just been saying, and like we've all referenced, mm. uh, it's wonderful to see. It's wonderful to see what is out there in terms of choice. You know, I think we talked about it the first um, vegan corner that we did with you, Scott, and we yeah. said we'd reference the whole uh, Greg's debacle. Yeah. Uh, with the, the Greg's sausage roll, and it's like, you know what? If people can go into a shop or they can go into a supermarket and they're offered a choice, they're well, offered an option. Definitely, definitely. Uh, well, more great music on the way. You guys are still going to stick around for a little bit longer, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back uh, right after this. Stay with us. Okay, right, I'll crack on. Uh, those vegan guys, it is, uh, it's time to say goodbye. It's been a pleasure having you in as always. You're back with us next month, right? Yeah. Yes. Come back and have another chat with you. Yes. Uh, in the meantime, though, if we could if we could have a little plug. Yeah, yeah, uh, Just um, because we've, we've, we've noticed a kind of rise in viewership on yeah. uh, YouTube, on our YouTube channel, which is, of course, called Those Vegan Guys, of our travel videos, because, of course, everyone's planning on going to holiday. Mm -hmm. And we've got two belters on there. We've belters? Got, uh, yeah. Belters. We've got a guy to Tenerife yes. vegan guy style and a guy to Catalonia mm. vegan guy style but what we're pushing right now at the moment is our Easter egg taste test oh. yes because it's just around the corner now yeah and we tried four really good vegan Easter eggs mm. uh, two from Tesco one from Sainsbury's one from Aldi were they all dark chocolate no oh. two of them were milk chocolate alternatives yes uh, and two of them were classic dark chocolate the milk chocolate alternatives mm are the best milk chocolate alternatives I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Really? Ever. And you can get them from Tesco, right? Is it, is it Tesco? One from Tesco, one from Aldi. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. One from Tesco, one from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. For the milk chocolate one. Yeah. But it's worth yeah. mentioning, loads of options out there for, for uh, dairy-free uh, vegan Easter eggs. All the supermarkets are uh, have pretty much got options available. Yeah, um, so check us out on YouTube and we'll see you next month. Indeed, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolute pleasure. We'll Always. see you next month. Uh, James, uh, we've not put the poll up. What we, we haven't. What are we like? I know. Um, so, yeah, today's poll, uh, you may have heard us mention it before, it's Disney themed. Who is your favourite, Timon or Pumba? Uh, get yourself over to our Facebook page. Uh, the poll is going to be going up imminently. Come and cast your vote. Who's your favourite, James? I'm going to say Pumba, specifically for the Mr. Pig scene. Just specifically <laughs> for that. <laughs> See, I, I, I think again, mate, we're in agreement. Oh, we're in agreement, yeah. Geez. Not again. What is going on? That's disgusting. <laughs> Who've we got coming up next? We've got Jonas Brothers we up do. now, right? They've uh, made a bit of a comeback, haven't they? Yeah, they have soccer. Indeed. Nice. Guys, nice guys. Awesome. thank you so much. Oh, is, it, is this them? Is this them? No. Hmm? The yeah. Jonas. Let <laughs> 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 me just do this, actually. Is anyone from Jonas Brothers? Is this them? Is this a new track of theirs? Is uh, this? Yeah, it's, it's their newest one, isn't it? Three of them? Uh, all three of them, yeah. Ah, hello! Hello, hello! Hello. Hello. I quite like them. So now this is the, this is the behind the scenes stuff that that nobody else gets to see. So that I expect to see this on an outtake later. <laughs> aye aye, if you're watching this, you've got to the end of our video. So well done for that. And we appreciate you watching. We'd love it if you liked this video, shared it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell for notifications. And that way you find out about all our future videos. And there's a lot coming, honey, let me tell you.